chickpeas. I'm sorry I'm running late. <laughs> oh gosh, I've been running trying to get so much done. I'm here though. I'm really excited. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, tonight we're closing out with Aquarius. I'm really, really excited. This has been a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful experience and um i've learned so much not only about astrology and other signs but i've learned so much about myself like this has been um a really internal reflection period for me so it's been a real journey and um I don't know if y'all hear the rain. It just started raining outside. We're supposed to be getting a storm here. Um, but I'm really excited um, about what I have uh, have to share with you guys about snagging that Aquarian uh, guy or girl of your dream. Somebody that maybe you've been interested in. You've been kind of eyeing. Um, not really sure how to start that conversation. Just that awkwardness in the beginning of... You know, like, uh, I like this guy, or I like this this young lady, and, you know, I really don't know how to break the ice. But I'm going to give you some tips on how to approach that Aquarius. Um, now, this can be this person's sun, moon, or rising sign. Um, and if you're not sure about that information, again, you can uh, feel free to go to, there are a lot of different websites where you can pull up quite easily um, your natal chart or the natal chart of the person that you're interested in. All you really need is their birth date. Um, and if you have access to their exact time of birth, um, that will even give you the houses, the house placement. So, um, yeah. So this can either be their sun, moon, or rising. Um, if it's in Aquarius, this will be something that you definitely want to take out a pen and take a few notes. Take a few notes. Um, so yeah, so today is all about Aquarius. Um, a really, really unique sign. A really, really unique sign. Aquarians um, are really um, intelligent, highly intelligent people. Um, very creative, very, um, really pulling in on, um, like higher knowledge and, um, being able to just pull in on like creative energy, really, really bursting with creative energy. Aquarians are, uh, typically innovative type people as well. So, um, coming up with new ideas about, uh, different things, um, just to give you guys a little bit of information about Aquarius. Um, it's house placement is the 11th house and that's the house of friends. That's the house of friends. So you'll find Aquarius is, uh, tend to be m most comfortable amongst like groups of friends, groups of people. Uh, um, if there are social, uh, things that they're passionate about, social organizations, um, you know, fraternities, sororities, or it can be, um, even it can be things like uh, civic organizations. It can be like uh, religious organizations. It can be political organizations. It can be uh, um, cultural organizations. Anything that is related to um, groups of people, friends, um, and then not only that, but areas of uh, of things that Aquarius and Aquarian is passionate about. So it can be. Um, towards a goal or an ideal ideal I want you to remember that word because that's going to come up a lot in this video ideals our Aquarians are big on the idea or the ideal of something being a certain way so um, Aquarius wants to uh, put their brain power and their ingenuity and their creativity towards making that ideal a reality um, preferably with groups of people um, so basically with um, an Aquarius um, I know I had started out um, well let me also give you the the planet as well um, the ruling planet of Aquarius is going to be Uranus Uranus is the ruling planet of Aquarius 
So Uranus um, represents, uh, because it's one of the slower moving, slower moving planets, it um, is the planet of change. This is the planet of change. This is the uh, planet of eccentricity. So you'll find a lot of Aquarius is being very quirky people, very um, original people, you know, like wearing like the polka dots and stripes. You know what I'm saying? When I think of an Aquarius, I think of a person that's not afraid to be an original person um, and really just embody um, who it is that they are when they are supported. An Aquarius that is in a supportive, uh, around a supportive group of people that affirm their originality um, and affirm their um, individuality as well. Um, so yes, urine is unusual and, ex and unexpected. This is the planet of um, an astrology that represents the unusual and the unexpected, the eccentric, um, and uh, the and originality. So when we think of Aquarius, we think of Uranus, and um, when we think of Uranus, we think of that change uh, and revolution and um, just that eccentric nature that uh, Aquarius is known for. Um, so yes, and this is the fixed air sign. Aquarius is the fixed fixed sign of all of the air signs. So basically that means that, um, remember we talked about um, cardinal, cardinal signs, we talked about mutable signs, and now fixed. So in the um, family of air signs, Aquarius is the fixed sign. Side. So that means that their opinions tend to remain fixed once they're formed. It's, it's not impossible for an Aquarius to evolve past a certain opinion once they've gotten an opinion on something, once they formed that opinion up here and it's locked in. It's not impossible for an Aquarius to evolve. However, it um, it's kind of a difficult transition for an Aquarius. So, um, just remember that, um, to all my people out there who are interested in Aquarians, just remember that they are a fixed sign. They are fixed. So, if there are some levels, um, in your relationship, maybe you're married to an Aquarius already, or you're dating an Aquarius already, and there are some things, you know, that maybe you've evolved, um, or maybe you see things differently. Maybe you guys met on a certain level, and maybe you see things differently at this point you've, uh, evolved and your Aquarius has not yet evolved or maybe um maybe they're still you know in that fixed nature remember this you're dealing with the sign this is the fixed air sign so um just also be mindful of that or if you're not in a relationship with them but you're considering a relationship with somebody uh, that's an Aquarius and you're thinking you're gonna go in there and change this person uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. let me just stop you right there no you're not gonna change them um, that has to be a total transformation in self-mastery that that Aquarius is going to have to go through. It's nothing that you're going to have anything to do with boo-boo. It's something that they're going to do, um, of their, they have to do of their own free will in order for it to be um, a genuine transformation. Okay, so now that we've, we've covered all that information, um, first date. What is an idea? I always, I've tried to uh, start off these videos with ideas on first dates with um, this, the particular signs that we're discussing. And um, I was thinking about for an Aquarius, a great idea for a first date um, would be, I have a new cultural experience. A new cultural experience. So exposing your Aquarius to a new cultural our, uh, experience or a new um, something different something different than they normally um, um, normally are absorbed with um, so I have here food or travel or an event that is related to a different or new cultural experience and I'll explain a little bit more why I said a new cultural experience um, as I go through uh, the different tips that I have because this is going to be related to um, some tips that I one of the tips that I have for snagging your Aquarius for life but yeah so like a uh, new cuisine 
you know has your Aquarius ever your Aquarian ever had you know authentic Ethiopian food before have they ever had authentic Mediterranean food before have they ever had authentic um, Jamaican food before have they ever had authentication food before have they you know or um, if we're just taking it outside of I, the reason I'm bringing up food because it's the most easily accessible thing that you could um, kind of um, get into a cultural experience a new exchange uh, for with an Aquarius um, of course there's travel as well now I mean if you have the funds to you know take that Aquarius um, on a trip to a different cultural exchange a different place because again this is the house of friends this is a, the sign that um, is uh, basically in uh, relative to the house of friendships so this is a social sign this is a sign that likes people and to be around people and places and doing things and being free and um, and is, is, is fine with things that are different so yeah um, if you're able to travel or maybe even to go to an event maybe a festival a cultural festival um, something different um, to take that Aquarian to so that's gonna pique their interest that's gonna you know hit that curiosity button in your Aquarian's mind and that's also going to which is going to tie into something that I'm going to delve into a little deeper but to get them out of that fixed sign uh, mode to allow them to be able to see things through different lenses um, and I'll talk about that a little a little bit more in depth in a moment but first the first um, tip that I have for snagging that wonderful Aquarian guy or girl of your dreams for life maybe you're already with them and you want to not just attract them you've already attracted them but you want to keep them interested the first uh, bit of advice that I have is don't compete with their involvement in social groups and organizations don't do it just don't do it okay don't compete with that um, Aquarians find fulfillment in friendships and social and political memberships. So allow them the freedom to be involved um, in areas of their passion without it threatening your relational bond. So allow them the freedom to be involved again in uh, in different friendships and social or political memberships without it being a threat to you all's relational bond. That's just something that they naturally. Um, they need that that's something that um, again 11th house house of friends like they really need that in order to feel fulfilled that's how they um, are able to you know um, share different thoughts that they have and to be able to uh, I, the ideals that are so important to them the ideal that is, is so important to them it's important for them to be around other people who can understand that need and who can um, not only understand the need but maybe these are people who are working towards a goal that is uh, relative to that ideal that the Aquarius is um, passionate about so don't get in a relationship with an Aquarius thinking that you're going to you know change them or thinking that it's a threat to you all's relationship because of the fact that they have so many friends in this organization that they're involved with or that they always want to be around all their sorors or their you know their fraternity brothers or you know um their uh, church members or whatever group that they're involved in or whatever friend circle of friends that they're involved uh, with because um, with an Aquarius when they're with you they're with you they're, there's no need for you to feel threatened um, because of the fact that if an Aquarius doesn't want to be with you they're not gonna be with you they're point blank and simple um, they're not gonna commit to a relationship um, because Aquarius is quite fine with you know letting you know hey you know this is cool this is fun I'll be your friend house of friends yeah we, we can be friends but if they commit to a serious uh, relationship with you there's no need for you to feel threatened by 
the friends that they have. Now, if they've given you a reason to feel threatened, then that's a reason for you to have a conversation with that Aquarius about your feelings. But definitely keep the lines of communication open between you guys and don't just turn it into a situation that, well, I'm just insecure. So now I'm projecting my insecurity on the one thing that makes you feel fulfilled and that's your friends. That's your, your need to have, you know, these friendships and social ties. That is not fair to them um so yeah so don't don't feel threatened by that guys i just want you to understand that it's natural for your aquarian to seek out those um those bonds those uh fellow ideal seekers those fellow those the fellow people who understand their ideals um so and it's quite natural and there's nothing to feel threatened about with that um Okay, and the next thing, the next bit of advice I have for attracting and or um, keeping your Aquarian is to always leave an air of mystery. Guys, Aquariuses love a challenge. Aquariuses love a challenge, okay? So, Aquarians are instinctively curious by nature. So don't make it too easy. Don't. Don't make it too easy. Allow them to put that high level of intellect into use in unraveling your layers. They'll love it. So if you're interested in Aquarius, don't put all your cards out on the table like right in the beginning. Oh my gosh, I love you. I'm so in love. Oh my goodness. You're just so such the person I've always been waiting for my whole life and da, 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 da. no don't do that with an Aquarius definitely keep that veil of mystery kind of keep that veil of mystery in the beginning of you all's relationship and even if you guys are already in a relationship maintain a little bit of mystery you know you don't want to you know um if, if you guys are going through periods of you know where it may seem mundane um, you know, pick the mystery back up, you know, find some things to keep it interesting in you all's relationship because Aquariuses love a challenge. I mean, they're very intellectual, um, creatures. So give them something to put that, like I said, to put that intellect to, to good use and to put it to work in you all's relationship and give them a little bit of a mystery. Don't make everything so cut and dry. Um, don't make everything so, um always like this and always like that where they know that you're so predictable and you're going to do this or you're going to do that and you're going to automatically do this no keep the air of mystery up if you want to attract that aquarian i promise you if you keep i mean there's if there's power in um knowing how to flirt knowing how the art of flirtation um especially uh, with the sign like aquarius so um a big huge chunk of advice i can give to you guys um, for attracting that Aquarius out there that you're really interested in is to definitely keep an air of mystery. Don't just throw it all out there. I know even if you like somebody a whole lot, I mean a whole lot, you really feeling them. Really, really resist that urge and find a way to uh, still keep a little bit back behind the veil, but give them enough to, to let them know that you are interested in them. Okay, the next bit of advice that I have is to go with the flow, quite simply. Go with the flow. Just go with the flow. Um, these are totally unpredictable people that we're talking about. When we're talking about Aquarius, is, okay, okay, again, Uranus. Unpredictability, eccentricity in itself. It represents the eccentric, um, the odd, you know what I'm saying? The original, um innovation that's what uranus represents in astrology so these are totally unpredictable people when it when it is relative especially to love and expression love passion and expression i add passion to that too um when it's when their passions are involved when it comes to the way that they express themselves these are unpredictable people so be open to ride the wave of your Aqu aquarian's love language be open to ride the wave of your Aquarian's love language. So their love language one day may be English. You know what I'm saying? This is hypothetically. It may be English. The next day it may be French. 
The next day it may be Spanish. The next day it may be, you know, well, I won't say the next day, but I'll say the next season because, you know, it may change with different seasons, the way that they approach love and the way that they express love and the way that they, you know, uh, want to relate that love to you. But just be open in a nutshell with this. Um, just remain open. Remain open. If you're with an Aquarius, always remain open to uh, expression and the way that they express themselves, um, especially in your relationships with them, um, because they may change. They may change. That's that Uranus aspect of it. Um, so um, just be open and, and be understanding of that about Aquarius. And you guys will definitely share a lot of happiness together. Um, the next bit of advice that I have um, is to affirm their quirks. Guys, affirm their quirks. Please understand how important it is to affirm the quirks of an Aquarius. Especially if it's somebody that you're in a relationship with. And um, I'm talking about a serious relationship with. I'm not talking about, you know, just playing around with. If you're in a serious relationship with an Aquarius, you have to affirm their quirks. I'm going to explain why it's so important. Um, Aquarians can hide a lack of self-confidence in their journey through the house of friends. I'm going to read that again. Aquarians can hide a lack of self-confidence in their journey through a house of friends, through the house of friends. So show your Aquarian that they have a true friend and lover in you by affirming their uniqueness and originality. This will build their self-confidence and strengthen your relationship. Okay. So that that's the oof. That's like pshh. I just dropped a bomb. I feel like that was pshh. so I got to go back and dissect that into pieces. Uh some of y'all understood it. I'm sure some of y'all were right there with me, but I'm gonna go back and dissect that um for my people um who didn't quite get every bit of that. Okay, so Aquarius can hide a lack of self confidence in their journey through the house of friends. So eleventh house, house of friends. A myriad of friends to hide the fact that internally, you know, you may not be as confident about yourself. Um, the second sentence I said, show your, Aquari show your Aquarian that they have a true friend and lover in you by affirming their uniqueness and originality. So, what you should be doing as the uh, partner to that Aquarian is always, always affirming them and building up that confidence level, building it up. Even though, you know, they can have the, 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 the house of friends, make sure that as their partner, that they understand that their best friend is who? You, right? So if you're in a relationship with them, you should be the best friend. So as the best friend, you should be building them up and affirming their uniqueness, um, because being quirky is not always, you know, something that is accepted in, in the society that we live in. So for an Aquarian, that can be kind of difficult, um, especially, you know, as in younger ages. Um, so when Aquarian reaches a certain age, um, it's important to have those, uh, those real lifelong friendships, um, especially in a spouse um, or someone that a significant other, you should be the person that the best friend. You should be the person that's always affirming and always um, just really being a big fan and a big cheerleader to that Aquarian to let them know um, the the beauty in their eccentricity and the beauty in their uniqueness and the things that are different about them and to celebrate those differences um, because you don't want the house of friends doing it, right? You want to be the one to be uh, the biggest supporter. Um, and this will build their self-confidence and strengthen your relationship. That's pretty cut and dry. Yeah. <laughs> um, the next thing that I have is to never give ultimatums. Don't give an ultimatum to an Aquarius. Don't do it. Um, the it's me or statement. 
will only lose the interest of the rebel of the zodiac okay guys it's me or statements will only lose the interest of the rebel of the zodiac because aquarius is the is the rebel of the zodiac this is the sign that will tell you screw you this is me i'm gonna do me regardless of how you feel about what me doing me that's what aquarius pretty much is and um if you make them feel any type of way about being themselves they will okay they will chunk up the deuces so fast <laughs> so you really need to understand that ultimatums don't work with aquarius okay you find the balance in inclusion i think i just said that with libra um same thing with aquarius find the balance in inclusion not telling your aquarius that they need to exclude themselves if they love you if you love me if you love me you won't go to your friend you won't go hang out with your friends as much if you love me you won't go to your organizational meeting this organization that you've been a part of for the last five years but now we together so i want you all to myself and i feel insecure about you being around other people if you love me look it's me or this organization it's me or your friends it's me or this that's the worst thing you could say to an aquarius because even if they act like they gonna okay okay you know like they're all right with it in the beginning trust me that's gonna come back and bite you later on so you find the balance in inclusion Aquarius is a sign that if you're with them, you should really take interest in their passions. They may not be fire signs, um, signs that are uh, ruled more by passion, but their passions are really important because of the fact, the fact that their passions drive their, um, their, their involvement, the 11th house. Their, their their involvement in these organizations and the house of friends, the type of friends that they have around them are driven by their passions. Um, so if there's something that they're passionate about and you're concerned about, okay, well, you have so many friends, then you need to be, uh, be actively involved and in participating in the things that that Aquarius is uh, involved and in participating in. That doesn't mean that you have to melt and become one as in, their interest and your interests have to equal up and be the same and you guys turn into the same person and you start wearing the same clothes and you start you know doing the whole not knocking any couples that do that i think it's cute uh but you know that's not saying that you have to do that but you do need to take serious interest um in their in their involvement if you're that insecure is what I'm saying. If you're insecure to the point where you're giving them an ultimatum, instead of you telling them um, that they need to exclude themselves from something for you, you should include yourself into whatever it is that they're interested in for them. All right. And the last bit of advice that I have, the last bit of advice that I have for securing... Well, first of all, attracting and lastly, securing that Aquarian uh, person of your interest is to help them find the balance between self and ideals. Self and ideals. Um, this, in turn, will help, will assist your... Um, Aquarian on their journey their self mastery journey because this is going to help them rid themselves of the urge to judge others by seeing the world through through a lens outside of their fixed mode of thought point blank exposure okay so when I say to find the balance between self and ideals this is dealing with the, the house placements, okay? Let's go back into that. So, um, Aquarius is uh, 11th house. And opposite to Aquarius, the complementary opposite to Aquarius is Leo. And Leo is um, in the 5th house. Leo is, its placement is 5th house. So, this is 11th house. This is 5th house. So, these two are doing this. This is the... Uh, what they call a complementary opposite. Now, 
the difference um, in the two is that Leo, this hemisphere um, of houses at the bottom of the chart represents self, more self. And then at the top half is more um, others, community, relationship um, to other people. So you help them find the balance between self, seventh house, I'm sorry, fifth house, I'm sorry, self, Leo, and that Aquarius, and their nature, which is Aquarius, which is 11th house, which is the ideal, okay? Because ideal is going back into that fixed nature of thinking about things. So ideal sees things in a, in a frame of mind that this is how things should be um, based on um, my opinions and, and my... Um, my experiences personally um versus really getting outside of just that group think because a lot of times it when we're talking about 11th house it's not just my experiences it's the experiences of this group that i relate to so coming out of that into really going into self going into thinking um more along the lines of um not just what i experienced with this group but my experiences in general and in general with other groups and with this and that. So really just taking them outside of the mode of thinking of groupthink right up here. Because 11th house can also tend to be groupthink. You know what I'm saying? It can be um, thinking along the lines of, of, of a group, of a particular group of interest. So taking them, pulling them down into that leo into house of self what have i experienced what can i pull from that i have experienced along my journey and um along my journey because that's also like hobbies that's also uh leisure so really giving them a multi a more multifaceted view as a mate and exposing them to different things and uh, and allowing them to see the beauty in thinking for themselves versus the group in the group think so helping them find the balance the personal balance and giving them exposure this goes back to my suggestion of a first date with an Aquarius taking them into some type of a new cultural experience something that they've never done before something a place that they've never been around a group of people that they've never necessarily um, uh, conversed or even no, you know what I'm saying? So completely removing them from that group think element and pulling them down into their fifth house, into Leo, getting them to think for themselves, getting them to experience for themselves. And um and you as their mate being a person to take their hand and be like, Baby, come on, let's let's try this. Have you let's go here, let's let's do this, let's let's have this new experience together, let's do this. And that is going to unlock um, an element in um, Aquarius that is going to help them to master um, and, and just really just level up and become more self-confident. Because now these thoughts are not just the thoughts of the group. These are my personal thoughts from my experiences and different things that I've done and places that I've gone and people that I've met. So, yeah, so that is... <sighs> a mouthful <laughs> but um yes these are the tips that i have for attracting and securing that aquarian guy or girl god or goddess of your dreams i hope this um has really been beneficial and i know it has oh my goodness I have poured my heart out. I'm sure this has been uh, beneficial. I speak that it has been beneficial to someone in their relationship. And um, and I really encourage you guys to um, just, again, keep any questions that you have. This is not the end. We're not going to cry. We're going to be happy. We're going to celebrate. We're going to turn up. We're going to turn we all turn up because this is actually the beginning of something really beautiful. I want to keep these conversations going, keep these conversations open. Let's talk about it. Let's get it. Let's get out there. Let's use um, 
different things like uh, astrology and different higher sciences to help us really just break down um, our relationships in the way that we look at each other and relate to each other um, so that we can have better, more fulfilling relationships with each other. And even when the relationships don't go the way that we want them to, we don't. We, when you understand another person, when a relationship ends, you're not bitter. You're not leaving feeling like somebody, you know, hurt you or so. Oh, this person did this to me, or this person. Did. You're not left with that bitterness when you really and truly understand a person and and their nature and what they need. And that maybe it was something that you could offer them that they needed. Or maybe it's something that you, you know, that they, you just, you guys just were better suited apart. Because you needed this and that person needed that. And it was just that simple. It was not, per, it was nothing personal or anything like that. Um, and we can better relate to each other as human beings if we understood each other like that. Alright, well I am signing off. I hope you guys have a great evening. All right, I keep you posted on uh, future future live streams. What we're gonna talk about next? What we what we're going to discuss next? Stay tuned. Peace.